hello Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make a couple of hidden paper clips for my two six inch Christmas journals. Okay so let's get started. Um, I've got two, well I've got four pieces of cardstock here and they are all two and three quarters by seven. I've got a plain card and a pattern card. I'm going to score these in the middle at well, half of seven is three and a half, so I'm going to score them all at three and a half. I'm using the Uniquely Create Creatives A Christmas Dream paper range here. So I don't need that anymore. So now what I'm going to do is just fold these over and I'm going to burnish them with my bone folder. I'm using a Teflon bone folder. I find that these are better than the normal other bone folders because they don't put a sort of sheen on your paper. I used to use this sort before and um, I found that it sort of polished the, the cardstock. So now um, I use this one exclusively. Okay, so as I said, I'm making hidden paper clips. So now I'm going to attach my paper clip, one on each one of these. Like so. So this is what will go, let me see if I've got something here I can step this over. Okay, so this will go over the edge of my page like so and clip on there. Now before I attach these papers over the top I'm going to ink the edges of these because there's a fair chance that you might see a bit of the edge and if you do see a bit of the edge I don't really want it to be um, a plain colour because the, all of the items in these journals have been inked so I want this to fit in with the whole feel of the journal. I mean you're not going to see that up there but you never can tell so best to ink then be sorry I'm using a vintage photo where's the lid oh there we go so it's distress ink vintage photo it's not the oxide it's the plain distress and to be honest I'm finding it hard to get hold of a reinker. I've actually had to buy a new pad because the reinkers are a bit hard to come by. That's a bit longer there for some reason. Let's trim that off. One is slightly longer too, but just a little bit. I will trim it off just to be on the safe side. Okay, now I'm going to take my pattern paper, open it up, and I'm going to put glue all over the inside. Now you could apply the glue to the pink cardstock if you wanted to. There's no, you know, there's no real reason why you can't do it either or. But I figured that if I put it on here, I may have a little bit more chance of getting it evenly um, attached to that. I am going to add some glue my paper clip, both sides of it, and make sure that that 
is firmly located on there. Now I'm going to position that on there best I can and fold that over. Now because that top layer is going over the top of that paper clip there is a chance that you know, it might be a bit shorter than the under than that pink when it's all done but I can always trim it up and I'm quite happy to trim it up. Okay, so we can see there that the pink is poking through a little bit. I'm going to trim that off and at the bottom here so all the way around really and how does it look on the other side the other side looks fine so now I'm going to do the same with this one So these are pretty simple um, hidden paper clips. Now we'll trim that up so that there's no pink. Now ink around that. I'll ink around both sides. Okay. Now, in the kit, there are some you know, there's the sheet of um, cards, and so these cards here. And I was thinking of putting one of those on there, but they're too big. Okay, so next idea would be one of these pennants. So there's, they'll fit. So let's cut a couple of... Oh, well, I have to cut four out. So what I'll do is I'll cut these out and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've trimmed them all up now. They're all here. So I'm going to ink around those. And I'm going to add one to each side of each of the paper clips. Okay, we use those four. So when I attach these, I'm only going to attach them on three sides. So I'm making like little pockets with them. So this is a design team project for Sue over at Paper Inspirations and all of the products that I'm using will be linked in the description box as well as a link to Sue's shop. So if you're interested in having a look, she's got some beautiful stuff over there. This will be my last project for Sue's design team and she is not sure about next year so we'll wait and see what happens there. But um, yeah. All the links will be in the description box. I've really enjoyed working with Sue for the past six months, so check her out. Okay, so there we have two pockets on each one. Now I've got a couple of little postcards here. I thought I might pop them in there. Let's ink around those. So they've got the pale pink on the back, so there's room on there to write. Now I've also got some of these tickets, I thought I might pop one of those in there as well. One of those in each one. And that will probably be enough. So 
that's something for our pockets on that side. Now, do we want something to decorate the pockets themselves with? Put a little parcel on there. We've got lots of fussy cuts here. There's a bill. Put a Christmas bill on that one. And uh, berries on that one maybe. And I suppose the berries should be hanging down or up so. And what else have we got here? We got something on that one. I have got the little gnomes. So I could put a gnome on there. Put a little gnome on there. Okay, so let's ink those up. Okay, now I was just thinking, do I want to put something behind it? Oh, I've got something here. Not really. Um, I would want something pink, so let's see if I've got some pink lace. I have got some pale pink here, so I might just put some of that behind the embellishments I'm adding to it. I just want that to sort of sit on there. So, a bit of blue for the lace. And then stick this on top of it. Like so. Just put a clip on that. And um, on this one, I'll just stick this one straight down onto the pocket. I think that will be good just sitting there above the pine cone because there's already a bell on there. And just a little bit of lace behind this one. I'm not worried if the lace pokes out over the edge of it, that's fine. And stick my little gnome on. Like so, and oh, that's not one. This is in. Oops, it's moving around. Like, touch that, and that, like so. So that's that side decorated. Now we're going to do the other side. Um, what have we got here? Oh look, I already had them cut out. There we go. Uh, uh, do we want to do the same thing on both sides? With the postcards and the tickets? Maybe. But you can't see them both at the same time, can you? So, we might do that. If you don't have these fussy cuts, you could, you know, stamp your own tickets. I've got... Um, a great little ticket stamp and I've also got a ticket die so you could cut a ticket out of your pattern paper. The art glue glue doesn't take that long to dry so that would definitely be stuck by now. That can go there, that can go there. Now um, for under this one I'm going to put some tulle, some white tulle. I'm going to sort of gather it up or layer it up, should I say. I'm going to cut it, just cut a strip of it, then I'm going to fold it over and maybe fold it over again. Cut those folds and put that on there because... Um, 
you can see through it and it's white and it doesn't really stand out all that much so it's just there for some texture See, I don't know whether you can see it clear, but you can see it's sort of spread out a fair bit. And um, when I'm going to put something on top of that, what should I put on top of it? Um, Too fit, too fine, and um, perhaps I could put that on there. I don't mind if it sticks over there a little bit. I think I will put that. All these fiddly fine bits, I'm going to make sure that they're attached to the pennant there because I don't want them to tear off with use you know moving things in and out of there so I'm going to put that on there like so that's that's fine hanging over there these fine pieces I'm going to take the glue right out to the edge of those down on there like that so I don't know whether you can see it or not but there's the mesh and the little thing there and then this still goes in and out this piece is not actually stuck down Okay, so that's both sides of that one. Now this one here, what should we do for that one? I'll go with the mesh again on that one, on this side. So once again, I'm going to fold that over. Very hard to see what's what. And it's certainly not squares, but, you know, I'm not worried about that. And a little bit of blue here. Pop that down. Now, what are we going to put on this one? Um, I've got more gnomes. Is this which one's got the gnome on the front? It's this one. So, um, I could put. Oh, hang on, I've got these as well, these fussy cuts, and I've got the um, creative cuts. I'll have a look what's in here. So these were um, like a sheet of fussy cut out. You can put all these in the same thing. Um, I could pop some presents down there, use that. These are a bit bigger, so they may well be too big. I actually quite like the presents. I think that's what I'll do. I'll move some of those layers up a little. And I'll ink around the presents. So these were, you know, one of those fussy cut sheets that you have to cut out. So that's what I've done there. And I really just want to ink from there to there. I mean, the uh, glue from about there to about there. I'll put that up there. 
that. Now with this one I could have used the um, cardboard behind it because it's sturdy enough to support itself if you know what I mean. I don't know whether these clips will reach up there. Really. Got a bit of paper clip I can pop on there. I find that putting a bit of pressure on it while it's got some fabric under it helps a bit. Okay, so there we have our two hidden paper clips. So there's our page. Goes in there. You can put it um, from the top or from the side. Doesn't really make any difference. Um, yeah, so that's my quick little project for today. Um, I'm trying. I'm going to uh, work a bit more on this journal. I'll probably do it off camera, and um, because I want to get them finished. So um, once I've got all the um, decorations and everything done on my uh, two Christmas journals. I will the pink ones are using the uniquely creative a Christmas dream collection and um, I'll come back with a flip through for you Okay, well, thanks for watching my video today. I hope you've enjoyed it and If you have I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and um, I hope you can join me when I post my next video Okay, bye